Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with James Parker. He is the Vice President of Electron Wheels. James, this is supposed to be a regular bike, but you're saying you can make it an electric bike like in 30 seconds. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, show me how. Okay, so we have our, our your regular existing bicycle here. Yes. We've thrown on the Electron Wheel via quick release, really simple. Oh, that's very easy, yeah. Yep. So okay. it, it really does install in 30 seconds. We have a 400 watt motor, 36 volt battery system and smart sensors all self-contained in the wheel. Who's the battery bike? Uh, we, we don't disclose the, the manufacturer of the battery, but it's a, it's a proprietary system that we've, we've designed and built okay. uh, specifically to fit inside the wheel. Where's the charging unit for the battery? So the charger port is right here on the wheel. Right. So it's really simple. Just plug it in while it's on the bike or take it off the bike, take it inside in your garage Regular 110. Regular 110. Right. What's the uh, driving range on this? So it'll take you up to 50 miles. Oh, uh, 50, five zero. Five zero miles. Oh my God. Plenty for your commute or your weekend ride. Okay, wait, how much does this cost? <laughs> so it's seven ninety nine. That's great. Uh, so the average e-bike price last year in the U.S. was uh, 1800 bucks. So we're coming in at less, at less than half the average. Really a, sort of one of the most uh, affordable entry points into the e-bike space. Okay, I have three gears on my Go Cycle. Yeah. Like, how does this work with gear? So basically you ride the bike like you, you always have. Mm -hmm. You can change your gears. You can have multi-gear, you can have fixed gear. It doesn't really matter in the back. Uh, and that's one of the main reasons we focus on the front wheel system for ease of use and simplicity and flexibility. So really, I mean, how it works is we have a wireless pedal sensor here, which communicates via RF to the, mo to the uh, wheel. And so when you start to pedal, the motor's gonna engage. And then when you stop, the motor stops. So, so it's a really intuitive ride experience. If you wanted to do only electric, could you do that? Uh, you could. Uh, you, uh, so it's pedal assist. So you always sort of need to be pedaling. Uh, okay. But you can toggle between different assist modes. So you can have a high mode, uh, normal mode, low mode, or off. And so if you wanted a lot of assist, you put it in high mode. If you want a little bit more exercise, you can put it in low mode. But you always need to be pedaling. That's uh, how the wheel knows to engage or disengage. Uh, it also has incline sensors inside. So in addition to the cadence sensing, it also knows if you're on a hill, flats, or a decline. It's so going it, to adjust accordingly. It, it actually will pull itself up as well. I am just really impressed. Now, how long have you been in business? So we have been working on this product for over 10 years. Um, we started as an engineering consultancy firm. Uh, we've been developing, iterating, reiterating this for a long time, being really intentional about how we bring it to market. Uh, we launched our first generation wheel, direct to consumer in 2016, uh, sort of low volume market validations. We got a lot of great data from our, our customers. We use that data to iterate into the second gen. Integration that we are announcing at CES is with Google. So we're working with Google uh, on an integration with a Google Assistant. Uh -huh. And so the idea is that we're taking the experience from the smart home or the connected car and bringing it to the bicycle. So the, the idea is you'll be riding, have your headphones in, your phone's in your pocket or in your backpack, um, and you just say something like, hey Google, what's my battery level? And then the assistant's gonna tell you, you have 50% remaining. Uh, you can also ask it to change the assist level, um, do a few different things on the wheel. So it's really sort of adding to the simplicity um, of your ride experience. Wonderful, and especially if you live in San Francisco. Absolutely, yeah, <laughs> yeah. James, thank you so much. Thank you.